we started with the fundamental question as to what would define a gangster in the office here and that's when we went back to uh, you know one of our guiding principles in the stocks about that we cannot be noble until we are noble inspirations of design have come from many many different fields architecture interiors products so on and so forth there's so much to choose from i would definitely say tada wando for his beautifully minimal design and you know the simplicity with which he's really reinvented concrete as a farini of this the three essentials and diversity equality and inclusivity we really believe a diverse team brings in the best innovation and a very inclusive design possible in the reception lobby we have this beautiful solitary black lamp that greets you as you enter that to us is a testament of our culture and a tribute to the design process that we had here if you look at the space we uh, we have exposed ceiling we've not tried to cover uh, the ceiling the surfaces we've left it the way it is uh, very few colors uh, we've used the gensler red color uh, which pops out in certain areas but not too much not in your face we just did some thermal insulation to make sure uh, the space is comfortable and it is workable but beyond that we did not have to work too hard to uh create this unique studio it then lends naturally to how it should be and uh, it it's come out really nice i think this space has been designed for the people it houses right uh that's our team uh that is who we want to celebrate every single day so on the second floor the first thing that you see as soon as you enter is the traditional lab so it's a very subtle expression of india but at the same time it's something that anybody would connect to at an instant the furniture that we've used in the uh, reception area it's a very local made furniture the whole concept behind the fourth floor has been that it should look like a workshop uh, so what you see is you know be it the metal curtains or the fact that all your materials are right on you know in front of you all the time um uh, the idea was to get away from the traditional model of keeping the clutter away and rather celebrate even the way that we have placed the meeting rooms right in the middle of the floor the idea is to encourage transparency which is why what you see is you know we don't have cabins for say the top leadership everyone sits together it's a very open office um everyone can see anybody anybody can come and approach anyone at any point what you notice across our office is the fact that we have tried to be true to the materials that we use so you'll see on the flooring it's just plain concrete floor in terms of our ceiling design if you see it's all exposed slabs uh, and what it also does it it sort of makes you help um, you know use the volume even in terms of verticality i think a bold design for me is something that's fearless and it's it's not necessarily following a trend for the sake of it um i think it's all about how do you represent your authentic self whatever it may be uh for me that is a bold design i think one of my fondest memories is really sessions of design and mentoring that i have been doing over the years with teams working with sanjay has been a great experience i think uh for sanjay he has this personal touch with everyone in the studio and he really urges in uh not just people to like you know shine and perform and he creates that atmosphere for people to uh really do their best in the film very easy to work with him because he's very clear what his design intent is i like the way how uh, subhashish mandel explains his design how he communicates how the design has to be executed as site the clarity he has on each and every detail Uh, which also gives us a very good clarity to go about with our work keep discovering never let the feeling of creativity go there's always something new that is going on around you try to learn from it your success is never your own in design it's about who you collaborate with it's who you work with it's always a team effort it's never one person <laughs> <laughs>